Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In a sea of AMD's R7 370 graphics cards, MSI with its R7 370 gaming model pretty much stands out the most compared to others. Their well-known twin browser cooler disguised itself within their gaming series and as such it represents the higher end tier so to speak of their offer. In our hands we have their pretty standard looking product box with a big red dragon on the front, while in the bottom left corner we have a notion which indicates that this is actually the upgraded 4GB model and not the reference 2GB one, and of course being a gaming edition it's factory overclocked out of the box. Backside reveals a quick overview of some main features for this model, like the super SEU cooler design, Torx fan and MSI's gaming app, as well as the minimum system requirements and specifications of the graphics card. Opening up the box, in this separate top box you'll find a pretty modest bundle with a quick start guide, optical disc with drivers and software and a DVI to VGA video adapter. And here's the main star of this show. As you can see, here we have a pretty standard looking representative of the MSI's gaming series. Black and red plastic shell is covering the aluminium heatsink, which utilizes two big 8mm copper nickel plated heat pipes and all of that is cooled off by these two big 100mm fans. Since this model brings in a custom and upgraded power design, MSI even put a dedicated heatsink on the VRMs. Unfortunately we are left out of a backplate but that is not such a big deal since this model doesn't have a high TDP output although it would for sure look nicer. Speaking of the TDP for powering up we have one 6 pin PC Express power connector and in regards of other connections we have one crossfire bridge connection point for up to two way multi GPU configurations and a standard set of video outputs one HDMI, one display port, one DVI-I and one DVI-D. Of course we went in to check out the performance of this particular model but before we start off with our testing I just want to make a quick glance over the MSI's gaming app. Since the open broadcaster software application kept on crashing with the MSI's gaming app also running, I had to take screenshots instead, but never mind that, let's get back to the point. In this app you can switch between three different GPU clocks for the graphics card, from the silent profile and its 975MHz where the card runs a bit cooler, all the way to the OC mode and its 1070MHz on the GPU clock speed. Up there you can also set up your lighting effect for the MSI Dragon logo which is located on the side of the card, as well as turning on the OSD information like FPS count, temperatures and so on. Due to a bit higher GPU clock speed and larger amount of video memory, you can expect somewhat bigger FPS count compared to other models that we had a chance to also test out not so long ago, like the Gigabyte's Winforce and Sapphire's Nitro version of the R7 370. 1080p resolution is the name of the game here, granted you will have to dumb down graphical settings a bit if you want to be around 60 FPS mark. Taking a look at the temperatures, idle figures were a bit higher but that was expected since the card is running completely passive if not under load, while during Fermac stress test we were seeing just above 70 degrees celsius and around 65 degrees celsius in games and in that case the card was barely audible. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and review of the MSI's R7 370 Gaming 4G graphics card. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.